Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial featuring all Tarte. I have not done a one brand tutorial in so freaking long, and I've been getting so many requests to do them. I'm just so sorry that I haven't gotten around to do it, but I'm finally doing one right now, and this is going to be on the brand Tarte. Recently, I went to Hawaii with Tarte, and we got so many new products, and I wanted to use as many new products as I could in today's video, so that's what I did. And I hope you guys like this video. I love doing one brand tutorials. They're very challenging, though. Like, I'm not gonna lie, one brand tutorials are challenge for me but it's cool because it is it's like a challenge in a good way and like a shit I have to make this work kind of way so this is the look I came up with and I hope you guys like it it's very springtime it's very like we're about to like burst into spring any moment and this is such a cool spring look and like the lip I'm just not used to this lip I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder and I'm like fuck what did I do on me does it look weird on me honestly just be honest does pink look fucking weird on me or do I look like a Barbie Bratz doll I want to look like a Barbie Bratz doll I don't want to look weird let a bitch know. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on. You guys know the drill. If you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. Just don't, man. Just don't. But if you guys do like this video, and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny MUA. And welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> Let's go into this video. Okay guys, so let's go and get started on this one brand tutorial, completely barren face. Dang, I feel like I look like a damn Nick and Mole rat with this face on right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. This is just a nice silicone-y feeling primer. Great for people that have like more porous skin. Hello me. How you doing? My name is Manny and I have pores. Yeah, problematic. Starting in the center and just kind of blending outwards. So for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the new Rainforest of the Sea Foundation by Tarte. Obviously, this is a Tarte One brand tutorial. I got this recently when I was in Hawaii with Tarte, and they just launched a huge array of products, and the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation was one of them. This is such a beautiful foundation. I've worn it twice so far. The only thing about it that I don't really like is that I feel like I have to use a lot of foundation to get to the coverage that I want, because this is more of a... I feel like it's like a natural to medium coverage foundation. Maybe that's just me. I'm in the shade light, medium, neutral, and I'm just gonna start pressing that in with the beauty blender all over my skin. It does give you the most beautiful skin-like appearance of, for a foundation. It's very glowy and natural looking, which is beautiful. I love it. Even when I pile on a shit ton of foundation, it still looks really beautiful and really natural, which I like. I just don't like that. I have to use like two whole syringes of product to get like the coverage I want, you know? But then again, I am a boy and I want to cover a lot. See, that was one syringe and it only covered up like this area of mine, and now I need to do one more syringe to do the forehead and the nose. Maybe you guys don't have to, but I do. If you're oily, you wanna go in with more of a mattifying product underneath and set this with the powder because it is going to be pretty glowy. As you can see, it does give a beautiful amount of coverage once you layer it on. Looks super, super pretty, very glowy, very natural looking. Overall, this is a beautiful ass foundation. Like, it's truly stunning. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. I really like this concealer. I've actually used this concealer many times before. It's just a really nice full coverage stick concealer. Like you can see, freaking full ass coverage. It's insanity. I'm not gonna use too much of it because this is a very, very heavy weight and dense concealer. It reminds me of like the Kevin Aquan concealer. Like it's that intense, full ass thick coverage concealer. I'm in the shade Fair Light because I like to highlight with this one as well. And I'm just gonna put it in areas I need more coverage as well. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna go in and blend that out with the same beauty blender that we just went in with for the face. Full ass coverage concealer. I really do like this one a lot. Mmm, see that? Are you kidding me? Okay, great. So this is what you should have so far. It's just nice, just blend it out. Highlighted as shit concealer and foundation on. There's a lot of powder. So then I'm gonna go in with the Smooth Operator, um, which is like their translucent powder to set the face with. I'm gonna put that underneath the eyes just to really make sure that everything is set in place underneath the eyes because again, this is a very creamy concealer. You wanna make sure that it is set or it will begin to crease on you. I can already see some of it wanting to crease and I'm like, no bitch, not today. So I just kinda go in with a little bit of the Smooth Operator, just a very small amount because this is a white translucent powder and we don't want any crazy kind of flashback. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I know you do. You've seen those photos of those celebrities. And you're thinking, damn bitch, poor you. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take a huge brush. This is the Morphe E41, just a big fluffy brush. Any kind of big fluffy brush will work. I'm just gonna dip in a little bit of what I have on the cap of the powder. And that's just gonna go everywhere all over my skin, just a very light layer, just to make sure that everything is set in place. This is a setting powder. So I wanna just make sure 
Everything is nicely set. So now I'm gonna go in with the BB powder by Tarte. This is one of their newest foundation powders that they just launched. It's a creamy powder foundation. And it's light, medium, neutral. That's the shade that I'm gonna be going in with. I haven't tried this yet, this is the first time. Does this look a little tan for me? I feel like this might look a little tan. It might be a little tan. So we're gonna go with that same big E41. I'm gonna go from the outside of the face and then go in from there. So like the darkest color gets deposited on like the hollows of my face already. This doesn't look like my color, this is like bronzer. Shit, it's fine. We'll live. It's not the end of the world if you're a little bit more tan than you are supposed to be. This powder is pretty. The fuck? And I'm just gonna take that down the neck because I do want to match my neck to my face. So the skin's looking pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this video with Tarte, like this one brand tutorial is also like a first impressions video because I haven't tried a lot of these products. Like, I have not tried a lot of these things, so bear with me. So now I'm gonna go in with the Tardis Contour Kit. It's like the cute little round one. This one I have used and I really do love it. I'm gonna take a E2 brush by Morphe to bronze up the skin. I'm gonna take this really warm bronzy color. Oh, it smells like vanilla and chocolate. It's so good. Whenever I get to the bronzing part, I want to talk to you guys. This, like, the bronzing part is where I start to get a little, like, stir crazy, and I want to be like, you guys are like, what are you guys doing today? Like, how's your guys' week going? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? I don't know what it is about the bronzer that makes me get stir crazy, but it does. It truly does. This is, like, literally the point of, like, no return for me where I'm like, okay, guys, so what are we doing? Okay, cool. What? Leave me a comment. Like, I'm so weird. I don't know why. I almost forgot to bronze up my right cheek. <laughs> Okay, man, you'll just walk around with fucking one bronzer cheek. Or one cheek bronzer. What? And then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek contouring brush and then take a little bit of the darkest shade in the contour kit. And just do a little bit of contouring, not too much. I just wanna go a little bit. Not too ham, not too easy. Calm down. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> with this brush, I like to go in first and like do a nice layer down and then I'll start buffing up so there's no harsh lines between the bronzer and the contour. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of people do like the harsh line. But, I'm just gonna kind of blend the two together, let them marinate. I haven't done a one brand tutorial in so long. You guys know, it's been so fucking long, like, since I've done a one brand. I think the last one I did was Make It Forever. And that was, like, a while ago, dude. Like, it was a while. So, I'm excited to be doing this. So many people have been asking me to do one. And it's finally here. There's a spot on the right side of my face. It's right here. And it rejects all pigment. Like, whenever I'm bronzing on my skin or contouring, like it rejects it. Like I have to go over it so many times to try to even get the slightest color payoff there. It's the weirdest thing. Do you guys have that? Like where there's like a spot on your face, on your skin that literally rejects pigment and it doesn't like want to take any color. It's the weirdest thing. It's so fucking annoying is what it is. I'm like, bro, let me fucking put contour there. Come on. And then going back in, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like the lightest shade. And then I'm gonna grab a little Tarte brush. I don't know what brush this is, it's from, but it's from Tarte. And I'm gonna kind of just highlight underneath the contour, just slightly, nothing to him. To give me a nice like straighter line contour. Cool, so now we have the contour down. We are good with the face so far. Now let's go in with some blush. I'm gonna take the Tarte blush in Ecstatic, which is a cute little like baby one. I got this like in a holiday set, I think. I don't even know. Looks like this. It's like the cutest little color. It's a very pretty peachy apricot color. And you guys know, apricot blushes are my shit. Taking that on a Morphe E3. It's very bright. It's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. I look like a fucking goddess. Tarte blushes are so freaking bomb. Have you guys used those? Tarte blushes are some of the best blushes I've like ever tried. They last so well on the skin too like oh my god have you guys ever tried them so now i'm gonna go in and highlight the face with this bad bitch right here this is the new skin twinkle lighting palette they're launching their first highlighting palette like how exciting is that <gasps> i love it this one is like a really nice shimmery white gold and then this one over here on the far end is a really pretty like, pinky champagne and then the middle one is like more of a matte yellow and that's more like for the under eye i think i don't know i'm kind of confused by that one it feels kind of weird yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the middle one. But the other two on the side are gorgeous. Like, I'm actually obsessed. I'm gonna take the more champagne color up here and start going in with my Morphe M510 favorite highlighting brush ever. So cute, so good. Start highlighting the skin with it. Let's see how it looks. Do you see this? I know you can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the astronauts can. Yeah. It's much more pink on my skin than I thought. I was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be much more like champagne, but it's much more pink. So if you guys aren't really into like the pinky highlighters, watch out and be weary for this shade on this side. But 
it's stunning. It's still fucking gorge. I'm trying to get more into pinky highlighters. I'm trying to dive into the world a little bit, but I think it looks super pretty. It's cool, so we have the face done. That is it for the face. I want to keep it like this. I think it looks really freaking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes now. Let's get into the eyes. So I had no idea that Tarte even did an eye primer or like brow products like whatsoever. I dug through my room like hardcore looking through all my PR stuff and I found some stuff to use. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Like I hadn't, I literally was not expecting that at all. So I found this Tarte The Brow Architect like pencil and it looks like the new Anastasia brow definer. Like I've had this for like a year. So I mean... The tart do it first, who fucking knows. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade deep. I've never tried this, not even once. I have no idea how like this is gonna work. I'm just gonna run this through my brows. I don't feel like this puts a lot of product down though. This also might be too fucking light for my brows. You guys like to watch these videos because I don't know what I'm doing with products that I've never tried before. Huh, you guys like to see me fuck up. If you guys have tried any of the Tarte brow stuff, let me know in the comments bar below what you do like from them when it comes to the brows, because I haven't tried any of their brow stuff whatsoever. I know they have more brow products, but this is the only one I have personally. So let me know in the comments if you guys have tried anything else that they might have. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it at this. Just a nice furry brow. How's it look? Be honest with me. It's okay, it just looks really light. Cool, so let's go ahead and prime the eyes now. I have the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Primer. I've never tried this primer before. It literally, first time ever, first impression. Let's see how it goes. It comes out in like a little white kind of paste. Okay, well let's try it out. Oh my god, why does this feel like sunscreen? <laughs> so for the eyes, we're gonna go in with the Tartlet in Bloom palette, just for like the easy natural part of the eyes. I'm not gonna do anything intense with the shadow. What I wanna do is like a really cool, different kind of a liner instead. So I'm gonna go very natural on the Eye. So first things first, I'm going to grab a Morphe E14 and the shade Charmer. Charmer is a very just white beige color and that's going to go on the brow bone just to highlight the brow bone a little bit. So now what we're going to do for the eyes is we're going to go in with a mixture of Flower Child and Smarty Pants. A very light amount of those guys on an E27 brush by Morphe. And that's just going to go into the crease because this look is solely focused on the liner. But I do want to keep the crease... A little more defined and whatnot so I think these colors mixed will be really 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 pretty perfect so now with a Morphe M433 I'm gonna take a little bit of sweetheart actually that which is like a nice dusty roseish color and that's gonna go on the outer corner push that in to the crease super nice just dusty roseish color I love a dusty rose like oh dusty rose anything I'm obsessed and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of what color rebel which is like a chocolatey brown. And that's just gonna go on the very, very, very outer corner. Just a very small, tiny amount of it. Nothing too crazy. And taking that E27 and just blending that into the crease a little bit as well. Just keeping it very concentrated out here on the outer corner though, not taking it too far in. And then going in with that E14 one more time, I'm gonna grab Charmer again, that the color I put on the brow bone. I'm gonna put that on the lid, a light layer of that all over the lid to really brighten and awaken in the eye. So for the shadow part, we are done. We are good on the shadows. We're gonna keep it at that. So now for the fun liner aspect of it, I'm gonna be going in with the new clay pot in mint. I'm gonna take that on a nice little tart brush and I'm gonna go in with this nice mint gel liner. And then just kind of fill it in from there. It looks so pretty, I love it. I think it's so cute, like I'm obsessed. Should I do like a little bit of black underneath it to like make it look more sharp and defined on the outer corner? I just got the new So Fine liner. It's literally like the skinniest. Do you even see it? Like I don't even think you can. You can't even see how small this tip is. Look at my eye compared to it. Maybe I'll just do like a little bit of black underneath it to make it look more sharp and defined. Yeah, okay, doing it, fuck it, thug life. Yeah, I like it. So let's go put some mascara on. I'm gonna be taking the Lights Camera Lashes, the purple one from Tarte. Why do I keep saying from Tarte? I don't know. I'm just gonna apply a layer of that on my lashes. I'm gonna be wearing falsies anyway. Taking the New Bound Some Serengeti Lashes, I'm gonna be applying those bad boys on the eyes today. They're not too thick of a band, but they still give me a nice definition which I love. So we're gonna do the bottom lash line now, just a little bit, nothing too ham. I'm gonna take an E36 brush and a little bit of Smarty Pants on the outter corner of my lower lash line. Just to give me a little bit of definition on the lower lash line as well. So it's not just so like barren down there, you know? And then taking a Morphe E43 brush. Great defining brush. I'm obsessed with this brush. You guys know this. I'm going to take Rebel. I put a little bit of that on the outer corner. Taking the Lights Camera Lashes Nude Liner. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. I'm taking that same mascara. Just a little tiny baby layer of it on the lower lash line as well. Just to give me some more definition. Oh, God. I'm just used to like a small little wand. I'm like, oh. 
Cool, so we finally have the eyes done. Yes, thank goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in to see what they look like up close. So I'm thinking that for this look, because I do have a nice blue liner, I really want to incorporate pink in the lip because I do think that this look would call for a nice, just hot pink lip. And I haven't done a hot pink lip in a very, very long time. I just feel like pinks on my lips just don't look that good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna venture out and just say fuck it, thug life. I'm gonna take the tartest liner in the shade Totes. And that's gonna go all over my lip. Of course, we have the lip liner on. It's very hot, very pink. Oh my god, I don't even, I don't do these colors, guys. This is a little crazy for me. I feel like a little, I don't know. I'm gonna take the new, like, matte lipsticks. They look like this, they're like in this little, like, really cool tube. I love the packaging. And the shade Hey Sailor. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, well, this one's broken. Okay. There's not a lot of product in here either with the lipsticks. That's as far as it goes. That's it. I don't know. I love the way they feel because I've worn them before and I think they feel so good and the formula is amazing. I just don't think there's enough. It's fine. I'll live. Okay. So I'm going to go in with Hey Sailor. Oh my god. Am I ready for this color? Oh my god. Okay. This color reminds me of Barbie. Like, come on Barbie, let's go party. I like it. It's pretty. I feel like a Barbie Bratz doll. And that is the final look. This is what it is. And that's it for the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to do more one brand tutorials. It's hard because you have to collect a lot of items from the brand. You know what I mean? Like you have to have everything possible from the brand to do one. So it is kind of hard. It's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. I can do, what brand can I do next? I can do Mac. Like that's one, a brand that I can do a one brand with. I can do Morphe, of course. I can do one, one brand with Morphe easily. But I don't know what other brand I can do one with. If you guys are thinking of any brands that you guys would like me to do a one brand tutorial with, it could be any brand, drugstore or high end. It doesn't matter. I will definitely try to do it as best as I can and get it done for you guys. Let me know what your guys' ideas or what kind of brands you guys would love to see. And I would love to film one for you guys. Everything I talked about in today's video will be linked down below as it always is. Links, codes, whatever you might need will be linked down below as well as my social media links. Other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Like this bitch on the way out. Like this fucking video on the way out so I know you guys like the one brands. Like the bitch. Okay, bye you guys. I love you. And that's it for the entire... I always do that. Oh, this is brand new. I haven't opened it yet. I my lip liner. I love... Ah, I'm dropping everything. Aye. Tar blushes are one of the best blush. Mm. Tar blush. Bl what? <sighs> I look haggard. Yeah. And just do a little bit of contour contouring. <sighs> Sorry. So then I'm gonna go in with the smooth operator. I mean, I No. This is this is how it happens. This is how it happens.